Hello from Chinature.com. This is Mark Josie. Today I would like you to do a uh, test, shooting test with this paintball pistol marker. Um, that this is the Tipman TIPX. Which is the most in, uh, powerful paintball gun? They would tell you that there's no difference between paintball guns. They're all the same power. Um, well, that's right to a certain extent, but not including the Tiberius. The Tiberius T8.1, you can tweak it up to like 25 joules. This one, proven uh, by my, myself, you can only get up to like 14 or so or 15 joules max with this gun. So today we'll be testing it out <clears throat> using different ammo. Brick walls, uh, six grams each, double the weight of a paintball. <coughs> 3.9 grams um, rubber ball and some PVC round. These PVC round there are three grams each. Okay guys, right now we're at the chronograph. Uh, let's get going. First, we're gonna shoot the um, four rounds of PVC round and this is to test how hard this gun will shoot with normal paintball, three grams. Okay, and here I have a sheet with me that tells me the power. I will also read you the power. Let's get going. Okay, CO2 punched, no problem. It's shooting at 288.7. Shooting hotter, 329. 326, as you can see, it's very hot. There's a little kick to it too. 329, so about 320-ish um, FPS. That is about 10.58 foot-pounds. And corresponding to joules, that is 14.3 joules. The six gram breaker balls. These are six grams, they're glass balls, okay? Let's shoot some glass balls. Going. Breaker balls, six grams each. 222, 222 FPS. That's not a lot, and uh, it's about 15 joules, okay? Two thirty-three, um, yeah, it's about that. Fifteen joules mark. Two twenty-five, about that kind of range. Okay, one more. Okay, two twenty-three. So that's about that kind of range. Okay, guys, now let's test it out on the Pepper Ball brand three point nine gram rubber ball. I'm gonna shoot faster. Okay. 270 FPS, um, 270 FPS that is about 14 joules, okay, on my chart, 14 joules, so you can see it's about that kind of range, can't really do more than that, but it's quite steady, as you can see it's jumping around 14, 13 joules, it's getting louder as well, 4, 5, pretty good it's about that kind of range okay guys now we have uh, just finished one CO2 as you can see it's all frozen up and that's one downside of the TIPX because you uh, you have the CO2 inside the gun so as you shoot the shot it's gonna get weaker whereas with the Tiberius T8.1 the CO2 is inside the mag. If you eject the mag, plug a new one in, it's going to be fresh and powerful again. But this one, if you change mag, the second mag, it's going to be weaker than the first mag. So that's one downside of this, but then the good side is that, that the magazine is much uh, cheaper to buy and it's also much lighter weight. Now, what will this kind of power, 14 joules, do to things like soup cans and such? For penetration, we'll be using these um, PVC round. They're solid three gram balls. Okay, steel to punch, no problem. Okay, three gram balls, uh, 292 FPS. What happened? The other one? Okay, it, it uh, punched through here and the other side went through as well. But the other can did not go through somehow. Uh, the CO2 blast was, uh, was messing up the chronograph. You cannot read it. But there you go, you cannot punch through it, you see? So, only a dent, it cannot go through the, uh, 
It cannot go through it. Okay, let's try the other side one more time. I was getting like 800 or something on the, on the chronograph. Okay, let's try again. There we go. Uh, error one on the chronograph. The student blast is quite, quite crazy. Okay, this one. I went in here and out the other side. So it, it's uh, quite different <laughs> from the first one. I don't know. Okay, 330. 330 FPS. Obviously, it went through uh, one side but not the other side. So, one side of a soup can. Can. It's a tin can, but then it's a coated and very strong can, and also with a plastic uh, plastic wrapping through around it. So it's supposed to be very um, solid and hard to penetrate. Uh, I cannot read the chronograph error nine. What happened here was it did not penetrate through, but it made a nice dent here. Let's do one more shot. Okay guys, let's try one more shot. Aim a bit lower. Okay, 301.3, a, a nice rebound. You can really hear the rebounds already. So it went here, but did not penetrate through. Okay guys, let's try. Uh, Rockstar. Oh, no air. No, no ammo, sorry. Okay, 293. Oh, we are on our second magazine. So it actually went in and ripped the can like that. Went in and ripped it out, so that's pretty nice. This one, it went in here and out the other side. Like so. Can I read as well? The uh, chronograph having trouble reading. It did not went through, but made a nice dent. Got five uh, KFC dishes. Okay, let's see what it can do to it. Five KFC dishes. Paper plate. Not sure about the power, but then it should penetrate very nicely. Emptied this whole magazine already. Good. As you can see, every shot went through all five dishes. See? All five paper plates stacked together. This is the KFC paper. Okay. TIPX. Uh, the CO2 is very cold already after two magazine. So I would say you would just get two mags of shots. Uh, that's like 14 shots. And the max it can go is about 14 joules or so. Max it may boost up to the 15 when your CO2 is very like uh, expanding a lot. But then usually about 14 joules. And here um, with this gun, I prefer using 3.9 grams uh, rubber balls for shooting normal shooting, and also the uh, 3 grams PVC balls for penetration, like for Freaking glass, freaking soup cans, that kind of stuff. You need a harder ball and not a rubber ball. And of course, you can shoot these breaker balls, six gram breaker balls. It's gonna go about 14 joules as well, but then it's not gonna be a big, big, big difference. Um, so I would say that it's really just, you know, you can use these powder balls, whatever, but breaker balls, I'll leave it for the Tiberius T8.1. So basically, that's the test today. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye!